But I look at it that after 100 years that we are still here. Because the whole idea behind it, I think this genocide was to exterminate us. But we survived and we came back and we stood on our feet. He said, Lebanon is my country. I want my kids to learn Arabic. New roots, a new start. Uh, do I feel Lebanese or do I feel Armenian? I, I feel both. One thing I always feel and I strongly hold on to is the recognition of the Armenian Genocide. The most significant part of this story of my family is my grandfather's family from my father's side. He describes exactly how he marched his desert, desert how he saw his brother dying and the mother she got raped and after she got raped she killed herself. My grandfather would on certain occasions he would tell us his story uh, the way he ran away on a, on a donkey cart. This is my grandfather Agob Dilsizian. Uh, this was taken at the orphanage in 1924. My maternal grandfather through the desert, he came to Aleppo, from Aleppo to Beirut, and then he got married here, and my mom was born, and then, so I, I'm a result of this. Whenever I talk about the Armenian Genocide, I always say that no matter what, until my last breath, I will always talk about the genocide and even be willing to give blood to pay tribute to all those people who went through the genocide. I think it's very beautiful. The way I feel my music, the way I express my music, the way I, I think, the way we're talking, the way I'm making my gesture is because of these elements of me being Armenian. I was really full of emotions when you were taking my blood. I suddenly just saw my, my grandparents, actually. Giving a simple drop of blood for this project is nothing compared to the gallons of blood that our grandfathers poured being massacred.